Okay, we are going to be working on finding the key details for the Dred Scott decision. The key details are going to be supporting the main idea. All informational texts have a main idea. That is the most important idea in the entire text for the reader to understand. Aside from the main idea are several other details. These details are sometimes need to know and sometimes nice to know. The need to know details are key details to understanding the main idea. They are the most important details that will help the reader understand what the main idea is. The nice to know details are not so important to understanding the main idea, but they do make the text more interesting and they may give some more information about the main idea that's nice to know. So for the Dred Scott decision, this is a longer text and we are going to break up this text into a few sections. The first section is paragraphs one through four. The main idea in the section one through four, paragraphs one through four, the most important thing for the reader to understand in this section is the Dred Scott decision came at a critical time in the debate over slave versus free territories and the court's decision against Dred Scott fanned the flames surrounding the issue. That is the most important idea for readers to understand while they are reading paragraphs one through four. That the Dred Scott decision came at a very critical time in the slave versus free debate. And the court's decision fanned flames surrounding the issue. That means that it made things more intense. Okay, the argument about whether or not uh, territories should be able to have slaves or everyone should be free. So we are going to go through and we are going to find which details are the need to know details here. Which details are key details in understanding this main idea. So if we look at paragraph one, this paragraph explains what the Dred Scott decision was, who made it, and when it happened. So I am going to underline these key details. When it happened, and the United States Supreme Court made a decision because that is who, that involves the who. I will also underline the words that tell what the decision said. Dred Scott, an enslaved African American had gone to court asking for his freedom in 1846 and the decision said the court decided against him. So he was asking for freedom and they decided against him. Okay. So the next paragraph is explaining the issue in the country at the time. Slavery is being debated between states who are free states and states who are slave states who believe in slavery. So for paragraph two, I am going to underline the part that is telling me that the country is divided between free and slave states. going to underline slavery was hotly debated and that half of the states allowed slavery while the other half did not. 
So we can see that our country is divided here. I'm also going to underline the last sentence because it's telling me that the, this argument is getting more and more intense. That is a big part of our main idea, which is saying that the Dred Scott case is fanning the flames surrounding the issue, making this argument um, more intense. Now in paragraph three, this paragraph tells me more about how people felt about slavery. Some thought there should be two countries, one slave and one free. I'm going to underline that detail. That also is supporting my main idea because it is elaborating on the part of my main idea where there the states are arguing about whether or not um, there should be slavery or not. Now in paragraph four, I read that the Dred Scott case was about only one man's fate, but it had a much bigger impact. The Supreme Court took the case to solve the issue of whether new territories and states should allow slavery. I'm going to underline that sentence. This is what is tying the Dred Scott case to the issue that people are arguing about. Supreme Court took on his case, hoping to use it to solve the most important issue of the time, whether new territories and states would become slave or free.